We're gonna do a trick. We're gonna do a magic trick. It's called the animated GIF. My name is Marcel Mingle from ActiveTVNetworks.com. Today we're gonna to be doing an animated GIF tutorial. A client, Cache Metals, starting a new program for with RSP Investments. They have this Get On Board stamp. They want us to turn this into an animated GIF, similar to this radio spot right here. So we're gonna go open up our Photoshop. I've already pre-designed all three frames that I want to display on the loop when the animated GIF is playing. To get our animation window, Windows, click Animation. Now down below, you're gonna get an animation timeline. Now this is a uh, newer version of the animation window. We're gonna use the old version. So to switch between the old version and the new version, go to the corner of the animation timeline and click on this timeline icon. So now you just see a big giant bulky box. This represents the very first frame in your animated GIF. By default, it assigns 10 seconds. We're gonna change this to four seconds, which means that this image will be displayed for four seconds before it switches to the next image. First, we're gonna predefine our three frames by clicking this button here. This will duplicate our frames. Now we've got three frames, each with four seconds. Let's go to our first frame and look at our layers. I know that our second layer should be displayed first, so I'm going to enable this one. Next, I'll click on the second frame, hide this one, and enable the third one. And then finally, I'll go to my third frame, hide the second one, and enable the fourth one. Now if I press the first one, we'll see get on board, second one with RSP and TFSA, and then the third one, physical gold and silver. So as you can see, this is all we needed to do to create our animated GIF. Now let's save this into an actual animated GIF. So we'll go to File, Save for Web. In your presets, make sure you switch to GIF. If you want to further optimize this GIF, you may do so with the Web Snap option, which will remove your colors, but also remove your file size. We're gonna leave this at zero because it's only 27K, which is very good. Uh, we're going to leave the rest of the options the same and click save. Switch back to our Adobe Dreamweaver and replace this GIF in place of its old stamp. So here is our old stamp. In the source, we'll simply switch this to our animated button. And now we will save this and test it. Oh, before we do that, we need to upload it to the server. Now we will refresh, wait 4 seconds, and there we go, here's an animated GIF. For more tutorials, visit ActiveTVNetworks.com. If you wish to start your own e-store, your own social site, your own education site, visit ActiveTVNetworks.com. Take a look at one of our demo websites. Once again, this is Marcel Migdal from ActiveTV Networks, and this has been an animated GIF magic tutorial.